this is a Fender acoustic guitar, and the four components that we will be exploring it are the low E string, the bridge pins, the guitar body, and the cab stand, and the guitar strap. And did you know that a sound wave is produced by a vibrating object? So as the guitar strings vibrate, it sends the surrounding air molecules into a vibrational motion producing sound. So we're going to start by taking off the low E string, and we're going to do that by unwinding the string and taking it off of the cap stand. Professor Caleb, yes. what is the purpose of the cap stand? The cap stand is what the string is inserted into, and then it is tightened in order to keep the string in tune. Ah. And we are now going to remove the bridge pin. Did you know that the frequency at which the air molecules vibrate is equal to the frequency of the guitar string? So we now have the low E string, the bridge pin, and the guitar body separated from each other. But wait, Professor Caleb. Yes, Izzy. What is the purpose of the bridge pin? Of the bridge pin. So as you see, the bridge pin is made out of plastic and it has this small groove inside of it. And when it's used, it takes the bottom part of the string and holds it in place. So that way it can be pushed down into the hole on the bridge itself and then held in place while the guitar is being played. We will now remove the guitar strap from the pegs on the top of the guitar and the bottom of the guitar. Professor Caleb. Yes. What is the purpose of a guitar strap? The guitar strap is used to hold the guitar in place on your body while you're playing it so you do not drop it. Ah. Yes. <gasps> so all four components, we have the bridge pin, the low E string, the guitar strap, and the body of the guitar. Singing that song, yeah. I got a lump in my throat, guys. Y'all gonna sing the words wrong. Thanks for watching, Dr. Hart. <laughs>